All right. Let's continue this. There's five Yonko in the total history of the One Piece world. There is Blackbeard, Big mm -hmm. Mom, Shanks, Kaido, and Whitebeard. We saw what an old shit Whitebeard could do in Marine Ford. Again, Again, he's assuming that Whitebeard's the weakest. I can tell, like, this, he implies that Whitebeard's the weakest. An old, sick Whitebeard. And not just the admirals, but also vice admirals and a slew of soldiers, given his condition. It was fairly obvious that during that engagement, Whitebeard's condition was a prominent factor. And it was stated time and time again by pretty much everybody that was there. Even Crocodile was kind of pissed off at Whitebeard's current condition. That's true. Whitebeard, I think, does boast the highest DC in the entire One Piece verse, meaning he White can destroy. He also boasts immense physical strength, and he also has insane endurance. Yep, the amount the of highest. damage that Whitebeard took during the Marine Ford War was phenomenal. The man has a stat sheet of damage he took, not including the Akainu attacks, where he had a hole in his body as a result, as well as half his face blown off yep. in the manga. And in the anime, it's a secondary hole in his body. So Whitebeard is impressive for even fighting through all of that and just blasting Akainu, Sakazuki, mm, with a massive quake attack. It's, just, it's phenomenal. But I can understand did what He's happened the in the Marine Ford War, why a lot of folks see are kind of actually beating Whitebeard in single combat. Aoki, Jin, Kizaru, apparently folks are on the fence with those two. But Akainu folks can say, yeah, Akainu this and Akainu that. Again, like we saw previously, Akainu, according to Oda, if the series starts now and he's a protagonist or something of the sort, then he can find the One Piece in a year. And that, yeah. I believe, also needs more explanation as well. Because the context of that statement is... All right, well, let's see what he says here. ...is very obscure whether it's him being the protagonist from his current position or if he started off like luffy like if a kind was luffy in the barrel episode one okay now i don't think al kind of necessarily has to be luffy in the barrel but just like starting in paradise going to the new world i think is what oda is getting at like that's where i kind of don't really understand because initially when I heard about this, I thought that Oda meant a kind of from jump, like he was in Luffy's position. He busts out of the barrel, and it's a year. What that was kind of crazy. But if it's a kind of from his current position, okay, yeah, fine. What? If he went rogue and wanted to find the one. Wait, hold on a second. Fighting's is he implying Al Kainu can help. using his free this admiral position? Is grammatically correct. To, hold but on, it's I need to he's implying. This is this is this is funny. One piece, wow, he could do that. But here's the thing: finding the one piece does not mean that you are stronger than the Yonko. Case in point: Goldie Roger and Big Mom had some type of exchange. He was able to read the pony glyphs and use information to get to Rat's tell. And Big Mom. Okay, so hold on. So he's he's pointing out Goldie Roger avoided a fight with Big Mom. So. Let's go back to what Oda said. Oda is jerking off Al Kainu's strength. But then, Cole, you want to say that, oh, well, what Oda's actually trying to say is that Al Kainu would be pussyfooting around all the emperors, taking their opponent glyphs, and going to find one piece. That makes no sense, Cole. Come on now. Come on. Oda is jerking off Al Kainu's strength. That, this is illogical. Come on now. Mom regrets that, which is why she has the opponent glyphs now in lock and key because she doesn't want to repeat that mistake. You can find the one piece. You can go to Rathel. All you need are the Rogue Pony Glyphs and potentially the Rio Pony Glyphs too, but that's a little bit shaky. But all you need is the Rogue Pony Glyphs to find Rathel, and that's where the one piece should be. But that doesn't mean that you have to necessarily beat the Yonko in single combat. So I did a video in the past before on this topic. Would Luffy be the strongest by the time he goes to Rathel. And again, it depends what Oda wants to do. Oda doesn't have to have Luffy be the strongest person by the time the strats reach Rathel. It could be the case where, let's say, he does become Pirate King or he finds the One Piece. And then later on, he has to engage in combat with Big Mom, Kaido, Blackbeard, and potentially Shanks if Blackbeard doesn't kill Shanks. The whole thing here is that Oda throughout the story in many ways. 
but it is not necessary to, let's say, defeat the Yonko to become Pirate King. But Oda's and jerking off his strength. So there is on. another X Factor in play here. Oh, what that is this? I think definitely cannot mean that one Admiral can beat a Yonko in single combat. And the reason why is this. Kaido exists. Otoko wa shinibasho wo sagashite ita. I think that the strongest person in the One Piece world is Yonko Shanks. That's what I think. I know folks want to vouch for Dragon, but please. the story <laughs> has dictated already. Not Oda's statements. The actual story has dictated. In a one-on-one -on -one match, if Kaido is in that match, you bet on Kaido. Yeah. It's one-on-one -on -one bet on Kaido. Not Kaido will win. Land, sea, or air, Kaido is the strongest. Yeah, this implies everyone else in the story, so it's not just the Admirals, right? So it's the Emperors, too. So if you want to say that this implies the Admirals, well, it's also implied towards the Emperors as well. This, or excuse me, applies. This applies to the Admirals and Emperors. Then this is basically deeming Kaido the strongest in the story. Regardless of your your, your headcanon saying Shanks is. We have to, if we're going by this, on my story, Kaido is the current strongest in the story. I mean, he's above any of the other emperors or admirals. That's what Chir Oda has specifically stated in the actual One Piece series when it comes to Kaido. It doesn't matter if it's a Kaido. If it's a Kaido versus Kaido, Kaido wins. If it's Aokiji versus Kaido, Kaido wins. If it's Fujitora against Kaido, Kaido wins. If it's Kizaru versus Kaido, Kaido wins. If it's Green Bull versus Kaido, Kaido wins. One on one, Kaido. If it's any of the other emperors, Kaido wins. I don't understand why this just applies to the admirals. I don't understand, Cole. I don't get that. Kaido wins. And the story. It's a rap. He, he baby shakes. <laughs> he, he baby shakes. Oh, wait a Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe. Baby shaking, that reminds me. So hold on, for anyone who thinks that admirals are around like top tier commander level, I think we can all agree Luffy is currently top tier commander level. And yeah, Kaido speed blitz one shot Luffy. So what, can Kaido waltz into the Navy and speed blitz one shot the Navy's strongest forces, the admirals? Seriously right now? Come on now. <laughs> the admiral downplays on another level, man. Not a full-blown baby shake, but he wins. From that standpoint alone, Kaido makes it impossible for a Yonko to be defeated in single combat because he's a Yonko, and he definitely won't be defeated in single combat. Though, same for the Emperors. The Yonko do. And actually, hold on. There's no definitely won't be defeated in single combat. It says bet on Kaido. That does not mean Kaido wins every time. All right, so there is no definitely winning every single time one on one. That's not what it says strength so since i put shanks above kaido even though kaido based on story would beat shanks in a one-on-one -on -one fight yeah, so we can forget the, the, the random head one -on -one where shanks fight, is strongest the overall combat ability i think that shanks overall combat ability is superior than kaido's but matchups do matter and in one-on-one -on -one fight kaido probably wins but shanks and kaido in my mind they do alternate for the top position in the verse so if kaido ain't losing in a one-on-one -on -one fight neither is shanks so I but that's just you. Story implies it's just Kaido. <laughs> and story doesn't even imply that about Kaido. It just says bet on Kaido. Not that he automatically wins the one-one. At the bare minimum, you would need two admirals. At the bare minimum, you would need two admirals to beat those two. Big Mom! <laughs> Big Mom has maybe the highest durability in the verse, with maybe the exception of Kaido. That's actually interesting. I wonder who has better durability. Her title. Big Mom has taken virtually no damage, even when she's in a weakened state. She forearms. She forearms a Kong gun. Let me ask you this. Fujitora is a very powerful person, but his power. Wait a second. Hold on. Now, hold on. Hold on. That what what he just showed there what, with. Floyd with uh, Fujitora being pushed back by the gear third. Well, Fujitora blocked him nonetheless, and the chapter right after that, Fujitora goes on to block more gear third attacks. 
pretty casually too. So, and in that moment when Luffy fighting happens to do something with Fujitora, Fujitora was going up an entire island's worth of rubble. So he's heavily fatigued and not using hockey on his sword. I would say that if Fujitora, considering he can block your third attacks, he, um, being heavily nerfed, okay, he's nerfed because he's holding up all that rubble. So I would say that Fujitora, if he was heavily nerfed and he was using hockey on his sword, can also casually block gear fourth attacks just like big mom that's my random hand head cannon but i, mean, I think that mainly relies to a logical state physically speaking i'm not too sure if he's that powerful hockey wise he's good but as far as we can tell okay and this is things that shaky his hockey wasn't potent enough to break through the bird age of, of don quixote do flamingo he wasn't trying to break, break through the cage Okay. He was just trying to help slow it down. He didn't want to take any of the credit away from the pirates. He wanted the pirates to get all the credit for 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 defeating Doflamingo and freeing everyone. Okay, he did not want to interfere with that at all. Doflamingo was not trying to do the bird cage. If he wanted to, he would. He was just helping slow down. Now maybe he could if he really wanted to. Maybe he could. Absolutely. If he can't say he can't. Maybe he could. But as far as we know so far in the story, he couldn't. Even with armored hockey covered blades. But no, oh. Luffy in Found Man could break out of the parasite string of Don Flamingo, the ability he uses to control people. And that ability has even stopped Diamond Josie. If Fujitora's abilities are the primary reason why his combat ability is so high, then can Fujitora take a Kong gun in the same fashion as Big Mom? Where yes. Big Mom just forearmed it with her armor hockey. Yeah, again, if, if Fujitora wasn't heavily nerfed and if he was using hockey on his blade, considering he could he could block gear third attacks being heavily nerfed, no hockey, I'd say without without being heavily nerfed, with hockey, he could do that, yeah. I would say that from a physical strength standpoint, gear four is, especially gear four Bowman, gear four Bowman is on Admiral level for me. Why? Why do you say that? Strength standpoint. And potentially from a speed standpoint as well. The only issue is that from a stamina standpoint, it sucks. So think about that for a second. We know that Big Mom's innate durability is off the charts. And Armored Hockey hardening added onto that durability. Oh, woo! Big ooh, Mom ooh, impressive as oh, always. Yeah, her you know, not, and then on top of that, she has three homies always near her Napoleon that's always on her head, her sword, Prometheus and Zeus who cannot get damage unless you can damage soul itself. Which, as far as you know, neither Akainu, Fujitora, Green, maybe people, Aokiji, or Zaru can do that. But they have elemental abilities, which can hurt them. And unlike Whitebeard, who wasn't fairly mobile, Big Mom... And hold on a second, does that mean that Big Mom can defeat the other embers as well? Because none of them have spiritual abilities as far as we know. So... I don't... Is Big Mom strongest in the verse now? I don't understand. Just hop on Zeus and do all types of funky stuff. With Elbaf Spear? Oh, man. Oh, man. Again, the Admirals are very powerful. But the Yonko have certain characteristics that just make them innately overwhelming. Whether it's Whitebeard and his huge DC and his crazy endurance. He took bullet wounds. He took stab wounds, but he endured through it all. Despite his condition, whether it was Kaido, who just fell 10K, brushed it off, and you don't... Oh, oh, I see you here with the legend. Are you going to be saying, wow, every time you play this video game? Oh, kid, it's time. It's time to get the beat down, baby. Like, whoa, whether it's Big Mom who's walking through everything and has intangible allies, homies, Prometheus and Zeus. Well, hold on. Big Mom felt the need to use Armament Honky versus Luffy, though. So it's like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, she's not invincible. And has Elbaf Spears, where she pulverizes anything for miles on miles. Like, bro. When it comes to durability, Shanks, Whitebeard, and Blackbeard don't have the same as Kaido or Big Mom's. Okay, they don't. Scar, like, level Blackbeard, sea monster bit his arm off. Blackbeard clearly doesn't. I don't even 